Who are you calling now? Uh, she's texting Dax. Are you texting Aunt Sana? Oh, N N J J N K K. She'll know it's from you. Oh! Don't forget to hit send. Oh, bye. Don't forget to hit send. She's playing with my old phone. Text before that was T B I. Yeah, you tell them these are quick conversations you have. I wish mine were that quick. She just likes the button. That's all she can like. It's that Siri button. Oh, she's missing texting now. Hit the blue button right there. Hit that. See? Hit this blue one. Sorry, I didn't mean to move the table. <laughs> okay, um, my thought from last time I was finishing, I was like, it was because the laws were rewritten because Jesus died on the cross, and so he kind of rewrote all those laws. That's what, That was the end of my thought. Yeah. Gonna say I don't know if it's so much rewritten as fulfilled. So, since we can't fulfill them, like we still have to do all those things. Those laws are all still relevant. That's still how we live our life. Yeah. But that's not how we get our salvation is by being good enough. No, because I mean, there's people that like I, I know, and there's people like that that I, out, are that are out there. Yeah. Like, if I go to church and attend church and I'm good enough, then I'll be saved. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, I mean, you should do those things, then that's what you should yeah. be doing. But you're missing the important element of what it is to be saved. Uh, go, 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 go. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing that she does this because she's, I mean, I don't let her play with it that often. It's just, actually, she hasn't played with it at all today. Like, no, you can do something else. That's why I probably have a million different pictures because you take pictures on this phone too. Oh, she just sent <laughs> back the picture. <laughs> You were talking about the Old Testament. That was a wrap up. And is that all you had to uh, say, or was there more to the conversation? Bye, about bye, the bye. Oh, no, no TikTok. I don't mean. I don't even have it. <laughs> okay, Abby. Hey. I don't think so. I mean, it's kind of weird that our battery died and now it's all disjointed conversation. That's. I don't remember if I had any more points or not. You probably did because it was your question and your conversation. So I guess to say, when I, I agree with you, I guess in, what was rewritten, I guess, and why I use that word, but your word makes sense. And that's kind of what I'm trying to mean is, you know, we weren't having to sacrifice animals anymore because he was the sacrifice. It wasn't just laws and rigidness. Where, where was it? It was at church, right? Where they said there was like 613 laws. It was more than that. Okay, 600 and some, I have it in my notes, 600 and some laws. And I was like, that was my faith in church, that people had to follow. And there was no way anybody was going to be able to do that. So that's why, I mean, you know, God still said, Jesus still said that the commandments are important and that, you know, a sin is a sin. If you lie to your parents, it's the same as murder. Like there's no levels to any of that. Bye. But like I'm discovering in David, or like I'm talking about in David, that they're Bye. David. I keep saying David. It's Daniel. I'm sorry. I keep talking about in Daniel. And the discussions I'm having every morning in Daniel are super relevant and have been super enlightening. And I think I had this just scary, dreadful thought of what the Old Testament was because of because of the law books, because of something like like numbers or kind of how like Psalms is beautiful, but it, it's very hemmy and like old school. And sometimes I, I really don't know what in the world the, the Psalms were saying, but some of them I do and they're very powerful. Either way, not a bad thing. But I think that's why I was so shocked with Daniel, like how it flows, like some of the New Testament ones and how, uh -oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> accident. So, I, I guess in a way I was shocked in a very good way, in a beautiful way, because I know that like the stories in the Old Testament are definitely relevant.
relevant and still important. But I feel like for some reason in my thoughts, I the New Testament just speaks more naturally to me. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I, guess, I think a lot of people feel that. Oh, what happened? Uh, I just cut it off. Oh. She just wants the butt. She just wants it to Oh, I know. She wants to cut the butt. So there's more than 30,000 statutes in American law. So having 600 is a big deal. Right, but I think there's a difference between the legal laws we have versus like the religious laws. I think it's, I mean, yes, it obviously is a little different. I'm just saying that every society has had laws to, this is what you have to do. Theirs was just, you have to do this or you're going to hell. Well, ours are follow this or you're going to go to jail or get a fine or probation or whatever it is. Right. And I don't know, and, and this could just be misunderstanding of me. I don't want to, or hypocritical, I'm not sure, but I feel like following like laws that you could possibly go to jail for or get a ticket for is easier than following religious laws. It is because we're very self very short-sighted. We don't know what heaven's going to be like. It's hard, it's hard to think of yourself in, as anybody than who you are in that moment. So you do whatever seems easiest then, or know, it is, it's just it's more tangible. We don't, we don't, we, we all have a spiritual side, we all have a soul, but. I feel like that's the key, religious matter. laws, and that's what Jesus came to break, was religion itself. That's not what it was supposed to even be about, and it got so misconstrued to that. Because, like, I'm reading in, in Daniel, and it feels like Daniel had a relationship with God, but he also had a fear and respect for God. He knew that he was the God of all, he was the only God. He was the king of all kings. He was in control of everything, and he knew that, and he respected it, he feared because you didn't want to let him down or disappoint him or anything. Like we dealt with our parents, I think, yeah. you know. No, I, I, kids. Think, I think you have to have some fear of God. Right, but I don't think it's the same fear as how we describe fear. Because you don't want your kids to fear you. You want them to respect you. Because if they fear you, then you don't have a relationship. You want them to respect you so you have a type of relationship. So that's how I view it. It's not like true fear, like when you're afraid of something or afraid of a spider or afraid of the dark. It's you respect God. You don't want to disappoint him. You don't want to let him down. Just like you don't want to do that with your, your parents. You want your kids to honor you and come to you, especially even if they've messed up. She's so obsessed with my water. She's not even getting any water because it's all the way down here. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you want to add or anything? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh, thank you. Abby, be careful, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're just trying to share. You're a good sharer. Okay. Is there any other thoughts you had about the Old Testament? Why did you want to ask me about the Old Testament? Just says it was the first one. Time you've read the Old Testament, so I was just curious what your thoughts of it were. I know I studied it when I was like a, a kid, like in Sunday school and stuff. You know, studied it verses. in Sunday school is not. Like, well, no, it's different. Like I knew of the Old Testament, but like yeah, true, yeah. true. I don't know it but like I am learning it now. I was just curious. Do you feel like you turn to the Old Testament a lot more than you do the New Testament for things, or are you kind of 50 50? It's not close. It's I mean, right now I'm trying to read my way through the Bible, so. That's what Dax is doing. There you go. Good job. Yeah, that's what Dax is doing right now. She started in Genesis. She's she said too. She goes, "There's a lot of weird stuff. It's hard to understand because it's you know it's just so different." Then, and again, I think that's where I get confused and sometimes discouraged. Yeah, I think with oh.
way too much and too ambitious. I can get it, sweet, so you can finish your thought. So this is my last point would <laughs> be, I find out a commentary that I find very helpful just to sometimes get an outside perspective and make you think of it a little bit differently. The so what? Just the commentary. Oh. I have Matthew, Matthew yeah. Henry for each commentary. But is anything. Okay. Just like I said, give another perspective. Mm. And I agree with it or not, but. Are you listening, listening to it? Uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, they're really short. They're shorter than the chapters themselves. It's just uh, sometimes they'll explain different, different, yeah, different things. Like, oh, this is this is what it meant at the time, or just give a lot of context. You know, this could be really helpful. No, that makes sense. That's what I like about the message version that I have. It has the notes from Eugene Peterson, so it's kind of like that that same thing where you're getting like his take on something, which. I feel like for the most part in the New Testament, I was already thinking that way. And most of the stuff he says, I was already thinking or I like agreed on or had crossed my mind. I feel like, um, what is that? Is it the beans? Oh, it's my timer for the rice. <laughs> But like I was saying, the New Testament, in the Old Testament through Daniel, it's been helpful because some of these dream interpretations, like I don't understand having Daniel then explaining it in the next chapter and next section. I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. But I feel like too, you can still draw like anything from the Bible. You can draw other things from and other inspirations from or lessons and stuff like that. But carefully, I say that because you can easily draw your own interpretation from something to justify your own wants and needs and desires that m might are probably because if they're your own then they're not gods and so you can easily because i've seen i've had family members that twist the bible and twist the bible verses and what god says or they use it as a weapon which also is not good so. <laughs> yeah i mean that's what the that's what the church is for. That's why it's best to have someone you can talk to and figure out if that's what you're doing or if you're actually being honest with yourself and doing it for God or yourself. Yeah. Okay. I need to change her. Okay. <laughs> we'll be done. That's the end of our thoughts. That was a really good question, babe. Bye. Say bye. Can you wait? Can you say bye? Say bye. Bye. Good job.